tell you now this is not a good idea but uh, I guess we're just going to go through with it in any case hello scary games fans it's Pavel here we're going for another episode of summer of 58 we're just getting started in the game we're on night two I think there's quite a lot ahead of us and it's uh, pretty awesome Another Mika Games hit, I think, that I'm really enjoying, even though I've only played it for a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're going to get deep into it now. Let's get over into Summer of 58. English for me, please. Let's get into it. All right, continue to go straight into the action where we were in night two and uh, exploring this old pioneer camping ground in Russia to try to figure out like what's happening and to see if I can uh, find stuff because you're just kind of searching for things the whole time. Night two. Night two. Here we go. Clock stopped at 3.07 a.m. Yes, it did. Uh, let's grab the camera. So we can see. Okay, just want to make sure this door is still sealed up. Windows are closed. Fuses are all in. Okay, so that, that's okay. Lights or well, that light, but the other lights. Okay, let's have a little browse around here, shall we? So we've got our clock there. Can't flip the switches still. Where's my uh, amazing dictionary? Did someone take my dictionary? Uh, that's kind of unfair. Wait, let's just make sure. Oh, okay. I kept it in my pocket this time. Managed to remember that it's uh, not something I need to put down every time. Okay, we got some lights on over here, but let's go look in the bathroom. Nothing going on here. This window is still sealed. I uh, still can't pick up the first aid kit. That's fine. Creepy bunny man isn't standing around. Okay, let's go into the depths. Put the lights on. What? Obviously, it's this side. And it's in complete darkness, naturally. Oh, someone really tossed the table that dead's around in here. Hello? Is anyone in here? Hello? That's still uh, what it is. 29th. No one's on the windows. Late at night when people fall asleep. No need for fun and no need for a fool. And the bowls are empty, the eyes... Ah, oh, I've read this one already. Okay, this hasn't changed. Ah, hey! What? 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 Where? Seriously, what is that thing that's running around? It's the little creepy, creepy bunny doll thing, man. Mm, I heard you. Oh, my word. That was just like right through my head and my shivers. Oh, ah. Okay. 
someone's been opening doors and stuff. Uh, oh, I see you floating there. I see you floating. I see you floating. Okay. Just a quick vanish. That's fine. That's fine. It's alright, we're all still alive. Let's have a look in old cupboard over here. Hey doll, you're not going to change your eyes yet? I'm betting you that thing's going to move its eyes at some point. Man, I'm so sure that thing's going to move its eyes at some point. It's just got you. It really just has to. Oh! Oh, what is that? What is that? What the hell? Oh, what weird was that? I didn't see what that was, but it was something. Ah, oh, what's going on back here? Oh, what are these things? Dude, what is breathing in here? This box wasn't here before. No, but there was something breathing in here, man. It's locked. It would be interesting to know what's inside. Yes, it would be. Okay, just a small hand. So, box that we don't know what's inside will come back for you. Hey! Oh. There were spare light Yes, there were spare light bulbs in the box. Good point. There we go. Let's get over to our box. And let's go change the light bulb. Oh, look how skilled I am. Telekinetic light bulb changing. That's the bathrooms. Funny man, you've changed. Uh, hello, Mr. Bunny Man. You look very different how you used to look. What is this box? Oh, another box. Um, but can I open it? Nice if I could open it. So there's some locks and stuff, there's a hinge. Hmm, doesn't really show me a way to get in. Okay. We'll leave that as is. Yeah. Ah. Well, ain't that something? So I'm just going to live here for the rest of my life in this little tight little little area here. Is that what we do? Uh, hello, I'd like to get out of here. Uh, surely I'm not going to go through the window, right? <laughs> oh, we thought something hanging above me the whole time and I didn't see it. Ah! What the hell? Yo! Okay. Okay. Okay, everything seems to be back to normal. Uh, if you could call this normal. Ooh, uh, aha! Hello? Damn it, these things just keep coming at me. Ah, uh, is that the child that's in this place? I wonder. You busted the light, man.
fuses are still there, but you busted the light. Now there's no lights. Oh, now we're just like in complete darkness. There he goes. Okay. Nothing here. I know where you went, buddy man. Find you. Oh, so heavy breathing. Now I know that things could be on the ceiling. That's even more freaky. Nothing out here. It's still locked. Okay. Ah, you closed the door behind me. Why would you do that? Damn it. Is it open now? No. Come on. Yeah, I'm coming in off you. What? What was that? Okay, I don't know why that happened. I didn't see anything specific. There's a little bowl that I can't interact with. Ah! What? Wait. That is exactly what I'm going to do. From 1950, a loud scandal in an orphanage for orphans. An orphanage for orphans. The nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was open since 1944. Children who are left without parents during the war live. Okay. We're gonna go open the box. I'm gonna go open the box. Anybody out there, just chill. I'm gonna go open the box. Just chill. This is what needs to happen. Dear Diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I've been preparing for this for three years so that the summer will be a special one. During these days, I will bring up real people in them, but they will also help me a lot. Okay. Oh, loading. That means we're headed to night three or day three? Night of 58. Oh, oh, okay. We've gone back to 58. Ah, hello, torch. After a severe thunderstorm, there is no light. That's fine. I've got my trusted torch with a very weird classroom. Ah, not too much of a fan of this. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. Okay? Hope you know what you're doing. So this is this place back in 58. A H R or backwards R. I don't know how to pronounce backwards R, but A H R nonetheless. Think, 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 think. The breakers must pop. We obviously blew a fuse from the thunderstorm. Oh, 
Look at this place. It actually doesn't look that bad. Back in 58, that is. Some scale, some plants, some toys. Children and caregiver are asleep. I won't bother them. Sounds like not everybody's asleep. Are we dealing with this thing all the way since the 50s? Yeah, I can't move that. Light seems to have blown. Children and caregivers are asleep. Okay, so they're falling into the sleeping room. That's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. I won't go into the sleeping room. Ah! Somebody or something opened the desk. Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hit a key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. Sounds like somebody has a plan. Startings of a plan. A H R. Ah, maybe it's the person's name. I see a key. Keeps the safe. Safe? What safe? Where's the safe? You filthy child. Who said that? What's safe? That's it. No one's seeing me? Okay. Into the safe we go. Oh geez, I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Yakov Ferrisov stole the second gas cylinder. Okay. I need to spray sleeping gas so all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then return back. What? Um, but there's someone standing there. I uh, see you. I really don't like people staring at me. That's weird, man. Okay, let me take the next thing. We work together with Alexis Sergeevic. Sergeevic. In an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake. Because only he knows about our arranged agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. And Alexei Sergeyevich will help to perform a heart transplant. His spelling changed from the top to the bottom. Heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an incident and no one will look for him. Oh, they're going to kill one kid to save another. That is so messed up. Still there? You're still there. Okay. Fault is missing. The glass is broken. Okay, so I'm going to the mask. In the book. A special boy. Yakov came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives, and he became my favorite. Because he is so similar to my son Ivan, I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy. Although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Sergeevich at the shelter where we were used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. But this day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories. While the counselors put them to bed, this can distract them. Okay. I'll tell you now, this is not a good idea, but I uh, guess we're just going to go through with it in any case. Need to put the gas in under the door and go back to the classroom. Some sneaky, sneaky stuff.
Yo, are you gassing off kids? Gassing off my soul. <laughs> what? Yo, that was like weird. Oh, that was like weird. Strange, man. <sighs> Just like in your face. Like Oh, we're back here. Here's my trusty Russian English dictionary. Put that in my pocket. I can't take it. How am I going to be able to translate stuff? Maria's diary. Camera. Oh, I can take my camera at least. That's good. Oh, look how much of a mess this place. Woohoo. Something really happened here over time. So maybe what happened is. This person gassed out the kids, then those other people came, they wrecked this place um, for whatever reason, and it just got worse and worse over time because this place has been like kind of locked up and abandoned or something. Okay. Hey, the box. What's in the box? Nothing. The box is just the empty box now. Okay. I'll leave it up like that. Let's have a look around here. Oh, there's a note in front of the door. You were told to cross out to get out of here leave this place okay i'll take that note lock the empty pages there's maria's diary you can use them to answer i hear him standing outside the door the empty pages in maria's diary what okay I'm writing an answer. I'm not taking my dictionary with me. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me who you are. Yes. Okay. Seriously, man. They're running around. I don't like that. Ah. Coming phone. Hello? Ah oh, man, the phone just rings and you get there and there's nothing. Ah, this is an unsettling place, eh? Very unsettling. Well, at least the fuse is all in place. That's that's alright, I suppose. Creepy bunny doll man, you're not here. Okay. Things very active in this building, man. Very active. Uh, nope. Oh wait, I want to check something. Where was it? Not this room. There it was again. Hey, where did you go? Whew, okay, let's write up another sheet. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me, and then I can help you. But watch. I remember what I couldn't pick up the last time. I was thinking about that now. Just give it a try. Send another letter. Then Okay, write another letter. Well, apparently I can't. Okay. 
Uh, well, let's go have a walk around. Maybe I can knock on the door. No, can't open the door. Oh, well, then we'll just leave you for a bit. Let you think about what you've done. Hey, you got a letter for me. I heard that. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. N now we're getting some. Saw that. Ah, I turned, but I saw it. That picture. Woohoo. There's something. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day the older girls tried to laugh at her, tied her hands and poured water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days and they decided that she was dead. But one night she came back in her pajamas, all wet, and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on full moon. I believe I'm going to see this girl's spirit on a full moon. I'll pick that up either. Okay. Whew. Okay, still nobody in here. That's all right. Uh, what do I do? Shall we try again? Maybe time to write another letter? Is your name Yako? Have you been living here alone for many years? Seriously? Creepy sound. What? Like it sounds like it's all around me. Freaking strange. Oh, there's another letter. Take that. I don't know why I didn't take the last one. But I got it now. Hmm, let me just make sure. No, I don't see anything. Okay, let's have a look at your next letter. Yes. Here I can communicate with my friends to regard this place because it's our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here, and those people will come for me. Oh, there's the crazy bunny man. You know he's no good. This guy is causing all the mischief. Who are your friends and why are they here too? He's one of them. The freaky eyes, man. Button eyes. Now you've gone again. Oh, there's a cat. The cat's just still here in all this mess. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here. That day in the evening after the lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person of whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that's because of this. He poisoned all the residents and the director. Ah, so even though you were trying to do something, you got poisoned yourself. Very, very interesting. There's someone outside. 
There's someone outside. Why is there someone outside? All this was planned by the director of the camp. What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking? Okay. What's that knocking? Is that from the window? I can't look because I'm stuck in a movement. that door is pretty sealed up and the windows are mostly sealed up all her I saw a director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp they agreed that they would do their work at night then I realized that it was connected with us but I couldn't warn everyone I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hit in the morning I went to the building and found no one her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation. Only sometimes go to the room. Okay. Okay, so... That explains the ventilation and stuff and all the movement sounds Hey man, that's some crazy stuff. That building abandoned, can I get there? was here Yakov doesn't answer anymore time to go to the man hospital we need to tear the boards off the front door uh, okay but first I want to find the music box I want to open the door inside yeah, I think the music box is inside the locked room. Not seemingly here. Okay, here we go, front door time. Make sure no one's standing here. No? Okay. Let's do the front door. No? Oh, hello? I can't take that. Take my sleeping bag? No, I'm just going to leave it here. Okay. Time to rip off these boards with my bare hand. Strength. So much power. Yakov said that I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. My trusty Russian English dictionary. Don't leave home without it. Okay, we're... Naturally, we're in a hospital. Oh, the scenes for horror games. It's like always abandoned hospitals, right? It does make you feel rather uneasy. So it's a good, uh, a good choice. Door is locked. Door is locked. Barricaded. I'm afraid. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. I can't see anything. I'm gonna look. Ah, okay. How do you get the chains off? Ah, oh, 
man, there's some weird noises in this place. Just came here, I need to find food. Okay. On the floor, maybe? What was that? I don't know what that was. Ah, oh, that was a terrible sound to hear inside of an abandoned haunted hospital. Hello? Someone there? I can hear footsteps. I'm not sure if it's my own footsteps. Don't think so. Seriously, man. Oh. Ha. I've just had something change on me. 1946, off the war. Dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. What is all of that, boys? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, what's this box thing? Covered. Okay, the covered. Can I push it? Uh, I don't really want to. I really don't want to. Can I just stay here? Oh my word. Okay, we've got an open door. Okay, we've got an open door. We're going in. Uh, why would we come in here? Hello. Something tells me that you're like the funny bunny man who's alive and the spirit of the undead of some sort. Unrested. Okay. The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fortunately made incorrect diagnosis and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about it, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed, the building became banned. Now, was he detained for six years or was he trafficking organs for six years? Wonder. Nothing else there. Ah, uh, door's locked on the door. This door leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. Well, why didn't you think of that? Where's your backpack? Ugh, should have taken the end right out sooner. Come on. Okay. We got an angle grinder, so it doesn't matter. Well, the door to get out of here is gone. Have to finish what I've started. But you know, that's like completely normal, right? Yo, okay. <sighs> Let's uh crack tables or, or chains and get into doorways. <sighs> Let's uh, have a look, shall we? I don't know what those things are. There's 
letter. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei Sergeyevich agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affair. Oh, you're dealing in some very dangerous stuff. Now we've got the... Uh... Hello? Do you uh, want to come in? It was the little doll. Okay, the little dolls are alive. I knew it. I knew it. Ah. I don't see anything here. Oh, there's something. I found a note. I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Vanishka. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. Okay. Hey! A bolt cutter. Lovely. Always super handy to have one of those. I do have a really, really cool angle grinder though, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to need to use the bolt cutter. But, uh, alright, it's always good to have a backup. Like, there's so much going on here. There's so much happening. Get back out into the hallway and go for another door, shall we? These doors still on back, alrighty. I'm gonna close that door for now because I can. I feel good about that. Here we go. I am handy with this angle grind. That's battery has run out. Ah, oh, so that's why I need a back. Hello, baby doll. Don't know if I'll make it to the morning because the day shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices, as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman. More like a silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true, or maybe it's just my imagination which is sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet weigh some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I have never seen them anywhere. They look terrible and it smells of dead things from here. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. That's the, another glass of vodka. And go. Okay, no one behind me. But oh, there's something up in the cupboard. Telling me I can't open the cupboard? Okay. Alright. Close that up again. Ah! Why, hello? You're open again. Damn it, that was not expected. Ah! Ah! Okay. I got my bolt cutters. Whew. Sealed up hurdles. Alrighty. Open, 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 open. Nothing here. Ah, not so. Okay. Huh. What 
Right. Oh my word, that was horrific. Well, ah, okay. Just trying to look at the cat painting. A year later, after the events in 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but with budget cuts, stopped working again. Okay. Do I have enough evidence? Can I leave this place? No, guess not. More evidence this way. Okay. Why not? That, that's just what we need. Ah! Someone took their life. Shame. Something terrible you must have felt. Maybe you, the person that was planning to take the lives of the children, took your own life. Because it just got too much. How had a body not be composed of all of these years? That is a good question. Maybe it's the, the air in this room. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost a child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me. And I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. What she meant by that. And how she would return. Maria, I'm so sorry. Ah, she's gone. Of course. And there's no door. Naturally. So I'm going to have to walk around in this... Uh, Room of skeletons. Ah, safe. Here the dock is 958. But whom Maria spoke of replied to her that he, he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then what was this case in question and who was she talking when Yakov saw her? There's something else, the death certificate document. This is her son Ivan. He died in the fall of 950. Apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman indeed. Shame. Death certificate. Can't really make that out, but I'll take it. You can just stay there for now, thank you. Stay there. I said stay there. What are all these footsteps? Seriously. No way. That was insane. Oh. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let me in, let me out, come on. Ah, okay. That's back to normal. That's not exactly normal. Um, can I get out? Is it safe? Will you let me? Is it alright? I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, okay. Can I grab my bag and get out of here? Oh, we can. Three weeks later. And we're back in this house. Whew. 
But I think that's enough for one episode. Yeah, I definitely think that's enough for one episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. There were some good jump scares in that one. For some other videos on my channel, you can see some cards here. You can go check them out. And uh, for the next episode of uh, Summer of 58, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.